Also Rosanna Pensino has also 
eyes whenever something bad happens because he is a quote-unquote philanthropist. It's kind of hard to argue um, those like bad things. It's kind of like having a blind eye to the bad things that are happening because he happened to do some nice things as well. Um, it, it's very, it's not black and white. It's very gray. Yeah. 
shows, but it was just like YouTubers. She was participating in it and she said that when she watched the completed, like edited um, game show, it made her seem like she hasn't done as well as she did in reality and that they edited her, edited her unfairly and then apparently a lot of his fans came to her throat and like, came to her throat and were like, sending her death threats and all these kinds of things and like cyberbullying her um and one of his editors matt turner um i think he said in a now deleted twitter thread he said that he was berated almost daily by mr beast and that he was yelled at he was bullied and called replaceable by mr beast every day allegedly according to this deleted Twitter thread, and he was a video editor for him between 2018 and 2019. So it's like the behind the scenes aspect of how he treats his employees. It's kind of shady. Anyway, let's get into this Mr. Beast thing. Um, Mr. Beast Games thing. So Beast Games is going to be on Amazon, I believe. It's probably going to be on Amazon Prime. I'm not sure when it's going to be released, but when they were filming the promo shoot there were 2000 people involved in this shoot and i think that they were very ill prepared to film this promo shoot like it was like a really large scale and they were not prepared there were a lot of things that were going wrong and because of this there were a lot of injuries people were allegedly trampled over um and again the things that i mentioned in the beginning of of people not getting food, water, um, adequate like medical attention. I think Rosanna Benz, you know, might have been involved in this and she said that people were offered NDAs not to speak up about their experience and like were paid off allegedly. And that's why like only like four or five people are filing this lawsuit and the other ones are quiet and haven't said anything. It's because they have been paid off and apparently she has been like approached to be paid off allegedly. She has made a TikTok about it and she has two, two or three YouTube videos about Mr. Beast if you want to go and watch it. Um, just talking about her perspective. Um, and she also made like a video recently with Doc Pak who has made two incredible videos about all of this stuff and especially his illegal gambling. Um, just breaking that down really concisely. But yeah, she also said after she made these like TikToks and videos about talking against Mr. Beast, especially after the Beast games and what happened there where she didn't, you know, experience the same things that other contestants experienced and she saw them getting injured and I think they didn't even have like correct sanitary pads or anything like for people, like women to use and apparently there was like gendered, um, kind of like they were treating women worse than men. They were favoring men in some of the challenges I heard. Um, and after she basically was like, like, fuck this, I'm gonna come out and say my truth because this is just unacceptable. Like when you think about it, there's 2,000 people involved in this game show. It's quite um, scary um, that they're just able to be paid off, you know, which is totally fine. Like if I was there like you, 
and 